Our members trust us because of our loyalty to them. We've been around for 75 plus years. We have not changed our name during that time. Decisions are made here locally and people just have a real comfort level with that. Each individual member owns part of the credit union. It's not run by a, a group of people that are stockholders, so they all have a say in what goes on. They elect the board of directors. Two of our core values are honesty and integrity. What we're trying to gain is our, our members' trust, because after all, they're trusting us with their money. We treat each transaction the same, whether it's $5 or $500,000. We empower employees to make decisions at, at every point of contact with our members. We want to make sure our members are taken care of so that they don't get the runaround, they're not transferred either by telephone or from branch to branch. We feel that one of the, the greatest aspects is to get our employees involved, whether it's through United Way, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, or simply as a, a soccer coach in the local community. We try to keep the employees happy and keep a working environment where they are satisfied so that when they do provide service to our members, that that comes across as a very positive experience to the membership. Next door neighbor IH Mississippi Valley Credit Union thought of the idea of creating a Christmas display in the old spot. So in true small town fashion, everybody came together. And with the help of a local family providing the trees, the town electrician hooking it all up, and plenty of residents helping out, things started falling into place. We've all come together so much more, come to appreciate our neighbors. Just changed everybody's attitude. Completely. We wanted something bright and cheerful to take away from that awful memory of the fire this last summer. In place of the buildings, seven 17 foot tall Christmas trees now stand. When you look over and see what the credit union has done here, it just uh, put a smile on a lot of people's faces. It's hope that we're going to be okay. The town's going to rebuild. Hope, renewal, and new life. All things the people of Prophetstown say the community needs to get back on its feet. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. If the Grinch is out this holiday season, he will likely not be found in Prophetstown. People lining the town's main street, waiting for the annual lighted Christmas parade. It brings us all together. As they shout it out with glee. Carolers singing as they walk by blue, green, red Christmas trees. These bright lights standing on ground that has seen much darkness. Decisions, decisions. I think that's awesome. Employees from the IH Mississippi Valley Credit Union. Can we get two of them? Or? Yeah. yeah. Checking their list. The fire truck. On a shopping spree at Toys R Us in Moline. <laughs> Roaming the aisles. That's adorable. Smiling as they select those perfect <laughs> presents for children who otherwise might go without. Just imagining that some kid somewhere is going to open this up and think it's the best thing ever. And we need probably a launcher for these. This is Jonathan Smith's first time shopping for Toys for Tots. It also felt really great to be a part of something bigger than myself. With their hands and carts full, Santa's helpers head for aisle eight to check out. At the register, each toy is priced and placed in a bag. All right, there goes the last one. Then the tail of the tape. $1,043.06. We're within $43. That's awfully good. An assembly line of credit union employees keep the toys moving, filling this van. In all, the credit union raised enough cash this year to buy more than $11,000 worth of toys. Hello, Quad Cities! 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 Hello, Quad Cities!